Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see sections and numbering options in InDesign. But what are the sections for? In Adobe InDesign, sections help you organize and customize the page numbering and structure within a single document. You have to understand that they are particularly useful for large documents like books, magazines or catalogs where you may need different numbering formats or want to restart numbering in various parts of the document. So summing up, sections and numbering are very related. Let's see an example. I want you to open this Alhambra document and I want you to expand the pages panel. Now focus on page number one. We can read the prefix A and at the top there is this little arrow pointing down, which means the beginning of a section. Every single document has at least one section on the first page, but we can create more. For instance, imagine that in this document, we want to create a front matter with a different numbering format. Then first of all, I select page number one. I'm gonna create several pages. This front matter can be used for the index, for the table content, for, for the prologue, etc, etc. And then it is very likely that we want to use another numbering format. Then what we need to do is to separate these parts of the document into different sections. Right now, all this single document is just one section. So I'll go to page number six, right click numbering and section options. We can also find this tool going to layout, numbering and section options. Once here, we can read new section at the top. The little box start section is on as well as this automatic page numbering feature. If we don't touch anything, it means that we are going to create a new section and the numbering is going to follow the regular ones. Let's say, okay, this triangle, this little arrow pops up at the top of page number six. And then our document is already separated into two different sections. Let's modify now section number one. Then I go to page number one, right click numbering and section options. For this section, now I don't want to use this style. I don't want to use this format. So then I expand this menu and let's use Roman numerals. Automatic page numbering is still okay. Then I hit okay. And here we are. Then the numbering in this floating panel has changed. And if I go into any page of this first section, we can see how our numbering is written in Roman numerals. Imagine now that I want to change or erase one section. Then I should go to page number six, for example, right click numbering and section options and unclick start section. Okay, section two has been deleted and numbering format of section one continues to the end of the document. Now I will hit page number five, right click numbering and section options again. I will start a new section on this page and this time I will hit this second option, start page numbering at one click on here, and I want you to write here page number one because we will not continue with the automatic page numbering. This page should be page number five, but we will restart the page numbering in the beginning of this section. Okay, here we find a warning. A page number in this section already exists in another section. Okay, then we have to cancel because I forgot to change the style. I don't want Roman numerals. Let's use the Arabic numerals. OK, and here we are. And now the beginning of the section is placed on the right side. It is placed on the odd page. And this is more professional. We could use the beginning of this section for, for example, the title, the Alhambra. Let's do it. Tool text, the Alhambra. I select text and I will make the typography bigger, align center, I can edit the text box and even change the font. Anyways, this is something that we will see in the next future, how to edit text. So time to say goodbye and I hope to see you in the next class.